last week where we talked about the concept of this idea of a company called Sealy by Design came from. And it spawned from uh, their son, Devin, who is having some challenges and they found this product and it actually helped them. And then these scientists that created the product were scientists that didn't know how to market it. Of course, Brad and Marcia being professional marketers, earning, having earned earnings of over $30 million, over 50 years of experience in this industry, saw an opportunity. Scientists and they basically work. came in and, and they, they, they came together and made this company Sealy by Design. So that's kind of what we talked about last week, along with some of the products. So before I bring Brad on and start asking and interviewing him, let me go ahead and uh, give you a little bit of background on who Mr. Hager is. Like I mentioned, him and Marcia, they have over 50 years of experience, combined experience in this industry. They are they they have direct earnings in this uh, or earnings in this direct selling uh, marketplace of over $30 million combined. They have personally trained and mentored over a 20 people now to a million dollar status in this industry. And they have a stated goal of creating 100 millionaires. Now, if you know anything about the Hagers, they do not rest until they accomplish a goal. That means there is gonna be 80 millionaires at, projected in this company. And we're just so excited about that. They are not going to rest until that happens for sure. They have also built large organizations. I mean, they are and are the law and in the past, they have built in over 170 countries. So even though Sealy by Design right now is just the United States, we're going to be branching out in the near future. So with that, Mr. Hager, I would like to ask you the very first question. And that's going to be, well, let's talk a little bit about business and the business side of Sealy by Design. Um, you know, last week we talked about how the company got be, be, came into being, but what I would like to know, and maybe our viewers would like to know, is what made it, the, what really pushed you over the edge to enter into this field of network marketing, there's already thousands of companies, what had you do that? I mean, what were some of your qualifiers in order to, to launch a business, a network marketing business? What were your non-negotiables for you and Marcia? All right. Well, uh, exactly. Again, last week, as we discussed, if you haven't listened to that uh, live, you can go back. I know you can find it on Guy's uh, uh, Facebook page there. But, you know, we discussed what brought us and how we how we found this incredible product called uh, called Sealy Swish and how that led us to bring out some more products. And uh, uh, obviously because of our son's health and, of course, uh, some helping uh, with myself because uh, the CBD industry is crowded. And, and so what makes our product un unique and different with our proprietary technology? So you can not to recover that again. Again, uh, but uh, you can go back to last week and see why this product is really the purest, most bioavailable CBD products on the market, bar, bar none. If you haven't tried it, you definitely want to contact uh, Guy here and uh, leave him a direct message below or whatnot and, and do that. But uh, so once we proved and validated that we spent uh, uh, months and months uh, researching nanotechnology, which is a fascinating field. You know, there's there's world and global uh, nano groups that Japan and U.S. in particular lead the lead the charge in. So nano is incredible. Uh, uh, we're learning that, learning the uh, the restructuring and water and how that works when we put the two together once we proved out the product and worked at that point we like we have something here that we have to tell the world about it's changed our life it's changed our son's life uh you saw that from last week's uh, uh, call right. uh, a webinar there or live and so so we're like okay what are we going to do with this so guy originally we were going to uh, we thought about well let's take this product and open up an e-commerce site and an online website and take it to the world that way. And, um, you know, we thought about that for about a week. And we're like, you know, I don't, I don't know anything about driving traffic to a website and all that. All I know is, is, is network marketing. That's what we've done, you know, for the last, uh, uh, you know, 29 years. And so, you know, we said, well, why don't we just bring it into network marketing? And, you know, you know, Marcia has owned her own company in the past for over a decade, very successful, where she served as president, run the operations, the whole deal. And, uh, and I've always been in the field. I have worked corporately with some, you know, uh, development directors and national sales director for small periods of time. Uh, but it really wasn't that crazy about starting a company, but we had to get it out to the world. And so we thought, well, okay, if we if we put it on a website, only one, one spot for everybody to get it. And if we open up to network marketing, we could have hundreds of thousands of people marketing this for us and getting it out faster. We also give people an opportunity to make some money, right? And so, uh, but we had to look, sit down and we looked 
sat down at our table down here and we 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 sat down and, and had to think through that a little bit and we have what i call some non-negotiables we put a list together of several things that uh they were non-negotiables if we were going to take it into network marketing and so let me go through that and kind of give you maybe even a thought process now some of you by the way if you've never been in network marketing or maybe you've only been in a year or two this may not uh you know you may not even think about this right you may not even you know you know as any of us get into new ventures many times we don't know, even know the question to, to ask, right? And we join companies or we buy products and we get into businesses or services or even join gyms or churches, right? And we don't even know the right questions to ask yet. And so some of this will be eye-opening for you. And uh, for those that have been in network marketing, I'm sure you'll relate. Matter of fact, do me a favor real quick so we know who the audience is. Uh, whether you're listening to us live here or on the broadcast, rebroadcast, uh, uh, in the comments down there, put it, if you've been in network marketing or are in network marketing, Put uh, yes, MLM uh, in the comments. And if you're not uh, or haven't been, just put no, MLM. Just do that real quick in the comments before we proceed. And that way it gives us a little feel for who's out there. But so let me talk about these, what I call non-negotiables, that, that the only way we're going to open a company if we can make these things work, if we could check off these boxes. Now, let me kind of start with why we even have non-negotiables. Look, we love love the network marketing industry. It's been good to us. We've we've worked our tails off. We've been in it 29 years, uh, 30 years in our CME, 29 years, and we've made millions and millions of dollars. So I can't say a bad thing about the industry, but I will say in the last 10 to 12 years, maybe 15, 10, 12 years, I've watched the industry change. Much of the industry has changed for the good. We can do things like this where, uh, where we don't have to get out and, and, and go across the country. We can actually build a business online. Technology has been a major advancement for network marketing and still give you the personal touch, right? And so there's lots of great things that's happened. But I also have seen it, watched in the last you know, 10 to 12 years in particular, uh, but in the last 30 years, 29, 30 years, I've watched MLM change a lot. So we had some things that we and I'll just give you a handful of them here I won't get into all of them but one of them and this may relate to if you're looking to make a decision in network marketing or maybe you're kind of thinking well my deal is okay but I don't you know I'm not just resonating or maybe you've been in some programs before and you maybe think it's your fault well you know it may not be your fault it may be the way the company was set up so let me give you the first one the first one that we wanted to see if we could do with this technology allowed us to make the prices right in the network marketing industry, then that was one of the non-negotiables. If, we, if we were going to have to have an overpriced product, then we weren't going to do this, right? Uh, we wouldn't be able to check that box. So one of them was, was pricing. Because when I got into network marketing 29 years ago, you know, the average network marketing product would be about 30 to 50 percent higher or sometimes even the same price as what you bought on a retail shelf, right? And so you could compete with that. You could say, look, I have a better product. I have a quiet, higher quality ingredients. That's why you got to pay 20 or 30% more. And most people would buy into that. But now uh, the average network marketing product is 250 to 300% higher or more cost more than it does on a retail shelf. Now, if you don't believe that, go look at your network marketing product and walk into a Walmart or even a Whole Foods for that matter. I like to say that uh, if your product at, in network marketing, if your product at wholesale is higher than Whole Foods is selling at retail, you've got a problem. And so, right. and so when you look at that and you look at the change in network marketing, how it's gotten harder for the average person. Now, I'm not talking about leaders. Look, people like me, people like you, Guy, Elka, some of the leaders popping on here. I mean, you can sell ice to an Eskimo. You can just go out here. Your, your attitude, your mindset, you're just going to go get it done. You're going to spin it. You're going to get it done. But the average person that gets in this business aren't salespeople. So if they got a mountain to overcome, a climb of two or 300% more than they can go buy it at Walmart or CVS or whatever products you're marketing. I mean, th let's think about it, folks. There's a reason that Walmart does $550 billion a year. 550 billion because people are voting with their paycheck. They're voting with their bank account. They're saying, I want quality products as best I can get, but at the end of the day, I only have so much income, I want price. Price does matter. And so what we did, we did the research, and here's an interesting fact. Uh, I really got an eye-opening experience when we started putting this together. Uh, mm -hmm. We looked in at the average price of nutritional products, which is what we're in, and the average person in America will spend $56 a month on nutrition. 56, guy, not 80, not 69, not 150, $56. So there's no accident that this product Swish comes in at 55 bucks. 
for a month supply, right? Because the average person will spend 56. So we want to meet people where they live, right? And so uh, when you take a look at uh, some of the other products out there that are 99 and 199, and, and we wonder why people don't stay on them, right? Okay, matter of fact, here's a great, this is an eye-opening stat for me, because I always thought, you know, you get into network marketing, you're excited, you got a product, you think, man, everybody in the world needs this product. Everybody in the world is going to want to resonate and get this product. But here's a great stat. Only 13% of the people will spend $100 a month or more on nutrition. See, all the time, I'm, I, you know, we've been out here marketing, building, building businesses, hundreds of thousands of people, and we think everybody's going to buy it, but only 13% of the people are going to spend 100 bucks a month. You're like, wow, we've been marketing in many cases to the 13%, right? Because you got to do a qualifying order every month of $100 or whatever. And so, so price was really important for us. And so we, we, if we could get the prices down, if the technology, which it should, uh, you should be able to do, uh, do more with less with nano, right? And so we were able to get this product here at $55 a month. We were able to bring out, uh, as you guys know, all of our sprays here, the, you know, the, the relief spray, the sleep spray, serenity spray and the, and the boost spray, which you just, in your mouth for your CBD, CBG, this is $25 a month retail. Wholesale was only $17 a month. Right. So we knew that we had products that are that people needed. Everybody in the world has got CBD receptors, right? Everybody's got uh, 37 plus cells, got 34 CBD receptors. So there's a need for the product. And But is it affordable? So we've made it absorbable, you know, with the, uh, uh, but we've also made it affordable. So that was a big thing for us, guy, that, uh, you know, if we can make the products where the average person could participate and buy it, you know, there's an old saying that to uh, dine with the classes, sell to the masses, right? And so that's what we've done. We've put the product together, as you guys know, not to get back into the product, but this, here's, here's the list of the ingredients that this product has in it, right? Okay, over 90 vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, CBD, CBG, primary adaptogens, nootropics, electrolytes. I had somebody the other day say, well, you think I should take aloe vera? Yeah, you should take aloe vera, inner heart or inner leaf aloe vera. Guess what? We've got it right here, right? Uh, should I take spirulina or marine phytoplankton? Yes, you should. It's right in here already, right? right. You know, and, and so forth, right? And so we've made a product here that for a one-stop shop, you get all your vitamins, minerals, nutrition, everything you can possibly be. You don't have to go get your CBD here and pay, uh, you know, I don't know, I've got one here somewhere, pay $69 an ounce, right? Or $199 for CBD only, then you still got to go buy your vitamins and minerals. No, we made it everything all in one. If you look at this at $55, six ounces, that brings it down to $9 an ounce. So affordability was big. So we had to check that one off, guy, because okay. I just think that network marketing as a whole, we've kind of outpriced ourselves. We've got ourselves into where, and we wonder why our people don't stay in because at the end of the day, when 90 days, six months runs out, runs out down the road, and somebody realizes, look, I'm not going to make a million dollars a month. I'm not going to make a hundred thousand a month. I'm not going to make five thousand a month. Not for a while, maybe. Some of them are. But when that starts to run out, are the products still affordable for people to stay on and and, and continue using? Because here's the deal. And I'll finish up with this. This. I'm going to hit a couple more of these real quickly. But here's the thing: any company that does an exit review, uh, and most companies don't do these anymore. But when someone quits and says, "Look, I'm going to count distributorship. I'm going to get off authorship," and you ask them why. 99% of the time, 99% of the time is I can't afford it. I can't afford it right now. I got to pay my house bill. I got to pay my, even my cable bill before I pay, pay for my health. Right. The point is it's affordability. So what we did, that was one box we had to check off is to make affordable products that the masses could use. Right. I mean, I tell people all the time, tell me you're lazy, tell me you're crazy. Tell me you don't care about your health, but you can't tell me you can't afford $17 a month for good nutrition to be able to spray this in your mouth. This is a month supply or the swish. Okay, so price was one. Now, the second thing that was a non-negotiable with us that we've watched change in the industry, we watched prices go up uh, and, you know, Makes it hard to sell against uh, you know, against somebody because you're not you're not only see th people get network marketing and think that other network marketing companies are your competition right no you're competing against Walmart and Walgreens and CVS and uh, Whole Foods if you're in and if you're in uh, a nutrition product, skin things like that right so you got to be affordable second thing though is business volume. Some people call it CB, commissionable volume. Some people call it BV as business volume. And so that was a big one. I started network marketing, and this may be over the newer people getting involved. You know about it, right? You might, you don't even probably.
it, well, what's what about BV? It doesn't really matter, folks. BV directly your paycheck, right? Uh, and especially if you're going to build long term, if you want to bring in residual income. And so, yeah. business volume ratios to the dollar spent. When I got involved in network marketing guy uh, 29 years ago, uh, business volumes were dollar for dollar. In other words, if you bought a product. For seventeen dollars, it was seventeen BV, right? If you bought a product for eighty dollars, it was eighty BV. In other words, so and we all get paid in network marketing. We get paid on business volume, right? And so if your group goes out here and um, hundred thousand business volume in your team, based on how your comp plan is set up, you'll probably make about ten percent of that, right? So you make ten thousand bucks, right? Now here's the thing: we're BV in to the world we live in, okay? Because most companies, the average BV right now in network marketing is around 65, 67%. And it used to be dollar for dollar. In other words, if my group spent 100,000 bucks, I got paid on 100,000. But now it's 65, 70%. So if they spend 100 bucks, I only get paid on 70% of it. I, I lose a third of it because the BV ratios have started to come down. Companies you know, that used to have you know, dollar for dollar, now it's 65%, 70%. And that was one that's disturbed us because you know, it is part of the comp plan. Here's the thing. Just look, the average person spends $56 a month, not 56 B. They could give a fat rat's you know what about the BV. They have X amount of disposable income that they will put in to their health and wellness, right? right? And so you have X amount of dis disposable income that you're going to spend on health and wellness, right? And so if the BV is 40% or 70%, and so you, so you start happens, especially when you got qualifi qualifications out here, you have that $70 qualifier to qualify for your bonuses, but yet BVs are 70%. That means you got to spend 100, right? Plus, you got to get tax and shipping on that. So most people are going to spend 120 bucks, 130 bucks to qualify for their bonuses, and that goes against the numbers. The numbers tell the story. The numbers don't lie. It's 56 bucks, and so you got to think through that. So what we did is, we, we if the technology allowed us to raise BVs and keep them high, then we would we check that box and be probably moving forward, right? And so what we did these these sprays here. If you spend 17 dollars for a spray, you get 17 BV. So if your group spends 50 bucks, you get 50 BB. Now the the uh, we had to skew the BB just slightly on the uh, on the uh, swish here, but it's still 90 percent, right? So 90 percent, 55 dollars, 50 BV, right? So it's easy to qualify. So it, if you look at that, our total BV average with all of our products is 98.2 percent, right? And so you want to get 60 percent of your money that your group's bringing in. Or do you want to get 98.2% or 100% of the money that your group pay, pays in? Because that's what they're looking at. At the end of the day, when the spouse or the husband says, honey, what's this $100 charge here? He's not going to, well, it's Mr. BB, but I had to I had to get my 70 BB. No, none of that counts, folks. I mean, it's all about dollars here, okay? And so being the BB ratios more in line, I call it going back to the future, guy. You know, we went back to the future on prices. Right. Our, our prices here, I challenge you to go out here and find a, you will not find a $17 CBD, CBG, all the other key ingredients that we have in here, product in any marketplace. And you can't even go, I mean, I've seen CBD and tinctures at, at convenience stores for 25 bucks. And I can tell you, it's price of CBD and they're not using nano, you're getting nothing. Right. Yeah. But even at right. 25 bucks, here's 17 bucks with 90 vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, everything. And it's all nano size where you get we surmise 70, 99 percent absorption for 17 dollars. So, you know, it, no one can say no from a price standpoint. Things that I don't want to. I'm healthy enough. Don't care about my health. But we've got the price and the BV ratio. So those were two big ones there that we've watched uh, through the years that we said, look, if we can get the prices down. BV's high, so when you start building the business, any of us start building the business, you know, we're not blown out because of the BV ratios trying to qualify. Uh, you know, it comes down to we got I got to pay my electric bill or I got to pay my nutrition bill. I can tell you the electric bill always wins. I got to pay for my kids' school, my kids' clothing. That always wins over the nutrition. But if you get it down and everything's right and the BVs are high. Now another quick one, real quick, that uh, and these kind of these kind of all tie together. Okay. But here's a force. And, and this is retention. That was another box we wanted to check off. Can we really get to where people can make residual income? Because that's what we're in this to do. We're in it to make residual income, most of us, right? We're not, most 
will go out here and sell some products, but we really want to do residual income. You have residual bills, right? If you have a car payment, that's a residual bill. Your electric payment, your gas payment, your cable, all that's residual bills. Why not have them residual income, right? So if we can help you get to a $300 a month residual income, $500, $1,000, $5,000, $20,000, whatever it may be that you're willing to work for, then that comes in residual. The problem is, though, folks, is residual income is almost a thing of the past, right? Or at least you're making about a 20% residual income versus 100%. Now, let me explain that because this, again, if you know, residual means you do the work once and you get paid forever. It's like you plant a fruit tree, get a lot of work, you gotta go dig the hole, you gotta go buy the tree, you gotta put it in there, you gotta water, fertilize, you gotta keep it going. But then once you get that thing producing every year, you're gonna get some fruit off of it. You get residual, in, residual fruit, residual fruit from your labor that you did one time, did years ago. Same thing with this, right? So here's the thing though. Most companies aren't getting their people uh, on auto ship. They're not, see, here's the thing, you know, guy, I want, I mean, I love most of the owners that we've ever worked with. They're amazing people. I'm still friends with, with most of them today. But, you know, I've had conversations with owners before and, and trying to help them say, hey, let's put some programs together where more people get on auto ship, where more people buy the product every single month and stay on auto ship. Because again, guy, I can tell you, uh, it, most people come for the money, about 77% uh, of the people that come in, 74% it is, I think to be exact, either come in because they want time and control or they want money. So the biggest reason people come into network marketing is not the products. They come in because they want more money and free time. But once they realize they're not going to get that, or maybe they're not going to get it fast enough, because you know everybody has this illusion they're going to make a million dollars today, then what's going to keep them on, right? We want to make sure right. we keep those people on. We have a valuable product. That works. It's priced right, okay? And we get them on auto ship. We incentivize them. So, you know, because I've asked, I've asked owners before, look, how many people that come into the company on their initial enrollment, how many people go on auto ship? And I've had them look at me, well, you know, that's a good question. That's, I'm, like, I'm like, how do you run a company and not know that number, right? That's right. important. That's how everybody gets paid. That's how you as a company gets paid on bringing back new and getting people on auto. That should be one of the things that we incentivize, right? And so I've said, look, let's, you know, and I found out with that particular company, I had to go to my back office, run my own numbers, do, get my calculator out and just kind of watch the numbers every day. And, and, and so I found out 13%, Wow, 13% guy of people coming into the business, get on auto ship. So I go back to the company and said, let's put some incentive programs together. Let's do this. Let's do that. Well, well, you know, nothing ever happened guys, you know, and that's a good question. If you're in network marketing, when people join your company in, in your downline, what is the percentage of people every day or this month that went on auto ship? Because that's what you're going to get paid on next month, right? And so, but the company has to do their part. So one of the things that we've done with our auto ship, number one, is we put the products down at a price low enough that people can afford them that doesn't disrupt their current financial situation. They're going to spend their 56 bucks a month. They can get on here for 59, 55. It's a, it's a wash, right? So they're already, they're already spending this, right? Okay. So another thing that, that, uh, that we do is uh, when someone uh, buys, if they'll go on this. So, so we set up our, our monthly uh, qualification to get bonuses. It's 50 BV. It's one bottle, right? So one bottle uh, if you're on auto ship, it's, you, it will qualify you, right? So, so now, but if you don't qualify, you know, in our company, okay, different companies do some of the same things. But if you don't get on auto ship, it's 65 BB. If you just want to place orders and not be on auto ship, it's 65 BB to qualify for all your bonuses, whether you're brand new or at the top, right? Now, if you get on auto ship, we're going to incentivize you to get on auto ship. If you get on auto ship, it's only 50 BB. In other words, one bottle. So would you rather pay 65 BB, which is roughly in our company about $65, you know, maybe 70 if you're buying the squish, or would you rather only pay $55, right? And so we're incentivized, exactly, right? So matter of fact, how many people want to pay more on auto ship? Put that in the comment. You want to pay more, you want to pay less, right? And right. so uh, would you want to pay 70 or $100, or you want to pay, look, I'd rather get on auto ship and only pay 50, right, to qualify for my bonuses, right? So you pay 55 bucks, that gives you 50 BV, and so we incentivize our distributors. The second thing we do, here's what's so awesome. 
The second thing we do to incentivize our people to go on auto ships to help you as a distributor, because our thing is very simple. If you make $5,000 a month or $50,000 a month this month, we want you making the same thing six months, six years, 10 years down the road, right? And so we're going to help and do our part to incentivize everyone you bring to the table. The company's going to do their part and do a dang good job of incentivizing with a better with a better qualification. But we also give them a free $25 retail product, Swish, every single month free with their auto ship, right? And so they can choose the, the, the relief. They can choose the, the, the sleep or whatever product they want, but they get this. Now think about that. Retail is 25 bucks. If they stay on auto ship for 12 months, that's $300 of free product they got this year. They saved money by being on auto ship versus just pay, placing standard orders. And they also made uh, or got themselves a free uh, product, right? So we're incentivizing, your, even without you, the company is doing their part and giving away free products to incentivize, pay less, get more to be on auto ship, right? Now, why would anybody not, if you're going to go build a business, why would you not do that, right? And so, and we also know that, you know, people may want an extra, not just the switch. This is our flagship. I think every man, woman, and child should be on this, but they may want, they may have some extra pain or extra, it won't extra energy. So we couple that in. Another thing we do, that, uh, and that is every time your auto ship runs, you get a 10% credit, like a rebate, you know, the coffee places or the smoothie places, you get a card and on your 10th one, yeah. you get one free. Well, that's what happens here. You go out here and you get 10 of these, uh, 555 bucks. Well, you get $5.50 credit that after 10 months, you got a free bottle, right? Or you can use it for other products. So we're doing all those things because retention was another one of, of a non-negotiable. If we can't help people get residual income, because I can tell you, and I'll move on. I know this is a longer answer probably than you wanted, guy, but you know, we've, we've brought people in the it's business. Tough. You have to make 5,000, 10,000 in their first month, 20,000 sometimes in their first month, people that had teams, not everybody, right? But we help them, we bring them in, they are within their first 90 days, they're just rocking. Well, four, five, six months in the business, they're, they're looking around, they're, they're ready to quit. They're like, man, the comp plan doesn't pay. What, you know, what's happening? Because what happens in your first 30, 60, 90 days, you spin up and you bring a lot of people in. But then when you start to kind of pull back and you're kind of working with those people, all of a sudden they realize, look, 90, 60, or 90, 120 days down, their, their check starts to go back down. You guys ever had that happen? First month or two, it goes up, which, you know, there's a lot of personal bonuses and things like that. But then all of a sudden it starts to do a nosedive and we lose these people, right? And they jump into another company. They go to that other company for six months, maybe a year, and then they jump to the next company because their income goes up and it kind of plateaus off and goes down, right? They jump from deal to deal to deal because they're not making residual income. The reason they're not making residual income is because people don't get on auto ship. Or if they do get on auto ship, the products are so high priced, there's no incentive to stay on, and they get off. And so every time someone gets off, off of auto ship, you've got 100 people in your team and 10 of them get off auto ship, you just lost 10% of your income this month. Next month, another 10% of it, you just lost another 10%. So having incentives and having products priced right, BV's high, one qualification, one size fits all. It's, it's we don't, if you get to a higher level, you don't have to do $200 now. Yes. Okay, because that's a problem. You know, if you got to go out here and you're 70 BV or 100 BV to qualify for your bonuses, no, it's one bottle on auto ship. You get on one bottle that qualifies you and anything you got to do, it's $55 on auto ship will give you a free product because we want to make sure that these people stay in your business. And I can tell you, uh, and again, there's a lot of companies doing heavier product, heavier products and heavier than they're doing well, but I can tell you, for, so these are some of the things that we wanted to do. We wanted to get back guy to the future and when people come in this, whether you're a network marketing big player, those guys make it no matter what happens, right? They're going to go out here. But the problem with the players even, you watch them jump around a lot. Yes. Because the income's not secure. You secure their income, guy, you have a lot less jumping around. Because, if, you know, again, if the guy comes in, he does $10,000 worth of work, and you, get, you pay him the 10000 month after month, then he's going to stay with you 20000 et cetera, right? But if he does 10000 worth of work, and before long it's starting to spiral down because people aren't staying auto ship, the business doesn't road from the top down. It erodes, it erodes from the bottom. Everybody starts getting off their auto ships. The product doesn't have the value. It's too expensive. i got to spend too much to qualify, and it starts to erode, and all of a sudden you're just on a, on a, on a mill, treadmill. You're you guys have overcome all those obstacles with what you've created here. 
Oh yeah, yeah, we're still in pre-launches. You know, right. I, you know, we've had people make ten thousand, fifteen thousand a month. Oh, and again, not making any income claims. But one of the things we keep getting back from our leaders, whether it's three hundred or three thousand, the thing that people keep coming back to is, so, "Wow, I love this because the the income is solid here, right? The income is stable. People get on and they stay on. And and of course, we're going to do our. Here's one thing I'll promise you, you know, to our distributors anyway, that we're going to do our part. We get it. 29 years of experience watching the good, the bad, the ugly, we understand some of the things that need to kind of go back to where they were. And, uh, you know, it, it, so we can go out here and, and build your residual income. And whether you just want to make a few hundred, we want you to make that few hundred dollars every single month. Okay. So those are some of the things that uh, yeah. with the non-negotiables, if the technology allowed us to take care and check off those boxes, those are a few more. I don't want to get into those today. I'll talk too long on your answer for, one, for the answer to this question. But uh, those are a couple of things that, you know, if we couldn't have, have had a better price, if we'd had to come out here and price these products high, if we'd have had to have a low CV, uh, if we wouldn't be in a, if the products were so costly and, and the technology, again, I just got to put it all back on the technology and the willing for the company to do these things, okay, uh, Marcia and I, whether we're the founders, the owners of the company, but, uh, you know, us willing to say, look, we're going to, we're going to, because we were experienced, guys, we're not somebody that says, okay, it looks like a time, great time to get into CBD, let's go make a lot of money. No, we, we, we're, we're distributors at heart. And we felt your pain, you know, that old saying, I, I feel you, dog, right? So, so we, right. we, we, we've been there. We've done that. We've watched it uh, and lived this experience and uh, have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to draw from and decided that, if, look, if we're going to do it, if we can make these things happen. And again, thankfully to the technology is what allows us to do this. The well, I know, I know for um, Elke and I, we've been in and out of this industry for a long time. We've known you for about 18 years. You've, we've been around you. We've seen your... Uh, what you've been able to create. We've watched you go into a company as a brand new distributor within six months rise to the top. But what really impressed has impressed us in the time that we've been with this company since May when we opened our doors last, last year in May is that the residual in that the people get on this product and they tend to stay on the product because it actually works for them. And when you think about that price point, you spend a lot of time on the price point a good CBD oil out there is right around 80 bucks and it's just CBD and there's so much more in here. But before I leave this today, there is one other question I did want to get to because I do know that when we sat down the first time Elka and I sat down with you and Marcia and we started to lay this out for us and we started to have this initial discussion, one of the things that really struck me, um, Mr. Hager, was the, the passion coming from deep within about so a couple of the items that you were putting into this compensation plan. Again, you already covered a lot about what you were the non-negotiables, but then when it came to developing the compensation plan, you put a couple things in here that I personally have never seen in network marketing and maybe in five minutes or so, could you kind of hit on a couple of those? Yeah, certainly. I, I uh, you know, again, it all fits together. The comp plan just can't be the biggest comp plan, best comp plan in the world with the crappiest product. The product can't be the best product in the world, but overpriced or below. It's all here to work synergistically together to make the best, uh, the best company and the best product. And you know, and I like to say that we're an equal opportunity opportunity. And what I mean by that is, you know, if someone's, you know, just says, "Look, I, I just want to make a little bit of money. Can I do that here?" You know, I don't like to build a business. I don't like to speak on calls like or lives like this. You know, I'm just kind of a, you know, I like to say that some people are so shy that they can't read that they can't lead silent prayer in church, right? That's how that was shy. That. <laughs> So, so making a and, and, and experiencing all this through the years, and again, we don't, guy, we don't, we didn't put this together based on theory. You know me well enough that I don't even do trainings based on theory. We we do trainings based on experience. We've made millions of dollars. We've helped others make millions. We built hundreds of thousands of people and organizations all around the world. So we drew from that experience when we started putting this comp plan together, right? And so, and I had all these. Companies knocking on the door. Hey, let me let me charge you fifty thousand to put your comp plan, write your comp plan for you. And let me and these are people that there's no saying that those who can't do teach, right? right. I'm not knocking these people, right? But these are people that hadn't built a business, ever built a business. They've not experienced the joy. They've not experienced the pain that a, a comp plan written wrong can can bring. Uh, you know, the the the, the, the frustration. And we have. And so we wrote the comp plan ourselves. We sat down again at the table down there. Well, okay, what do we want, right? And there's no saying reward the behavior you want more of. The account, account, a comp plan should be able to reward certain behaviors. But also, to me, we want a, we want a 
Uh, you, you hear this word on some of the news stations, fair and balanced. And we wanted a fair and balanced comp plan. We, didn't, we wanted it where everybody could succeed. If you're a big player, guess what? I can promise you, you can make some serious money here. But if you say, look, I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to sponsor anybody. Can I make money? The answer is yes. Because let me just share with you another thing, guy, that has really driven me crazy Mark, it's kind of one, kind of fits in the comp plan, but fits in one of those non-negotiables, and that is that most companies don't even have a retail program anymore, right? Because here's what I can tell you: yes. not everybody can share the plan, can not everybody can sell the opportunity, and not everybody can sign anybody up. But almost anybody can share a product and sell a product. They can take a product, tell their experience, and go out here and share that and make some money that way, right? But here's the problem. Most companies don't have, that's the thing of the past, right? Most companies, the members or the distributors and their customers pay the same price. What's up with that? And I can, I can tell you why, because if you're selling this bottle for $69 an ounce, it's pretty hard, 45% or 30 or 40% retail profit on top of that and think anybody's gonna buy it, right? But right. so our technology allowed us to make this product at $17, but give it to as a value of $25 at retail. So if all you want to do is you want to, you know, we have these little buttons over here. Ask me about free CBD spray. And once we get out of this virus, you can go out here and wear these buttons. And people come up to you all the time and say, hey, tell me about that free CBD spray. And you just pull yes. this out and spray, they work. And spray them. And now you make a retail profit, right? Right, so retail was important to us. I just, I just don't like that. I mean, of course, we've had so many companies shut down by, by the AGs and the authorities and regulators because they don't have retail. They, well, everybody's, a, you know, they, they pay the same price. They're, they're distributors, but they're really, re, they're really retail customers. Wink, wink, wink. Right? How long are we going to keep doing that, guys? We have a product here that we can that is true retail. So we put in a retail bonus, and and I know there's nothing for most people, guy, most network marketing leaders, are like that. I don't even want to hear that conversation. They don't want to retail. Right. right that's fine and I, I get i'm a leader I, you know but i know that i've got there are millions of people and all you got to do is check out some of the mary Kays and and uh, avons that have million the billion dollar companies that have retail business models more of a direct sales model to tell you that retail works that's like saying that walmart and all these retailers out here aren't making any money you know, retail is a viable way to make money so we put in a retail bonus uh, at 45 percent that uh, people can come to your site or you can hand sell it to them direct with the, with the button, whatever, and you make 45%, right? So you go out here and you start selling a couple hundred dollars of product a month. You know, you can make your car payment, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars, whatever. Uh, and of course they can go on auto ship, the retail people can go on auto ship. And by the way, if someone buys this bottle for retail, sells for $79, right? So you make the difference and a retail customer gets a free bot, a free spray every month as well, right? Wow. Even though you're paying retail, you still get a free. So we're going to give your retail customers, uh, if they go on auto ship, we're going to give them $300 of free product a year, $25 a month, right? So they love that. So look at, how about that? You're building a re residual retail income, right? Because we have people in network marketing is full of people who really have a hard time sharing the plan and signing people up, right? But they can go out here and sell the product, right? Or maybe you have a hair salon or a nail salon, and you want to just retail. You don't want to build the team. Well, you can do that here, and you don't have to. You don't have to say, but yeah, you have to sign up. No. So retail is important. We have a, and I don't know of anyone else doing this. I will tell you, it's really different. We do a. a, a you can retail make forty five percent, or if they go to your website, you make twenty five percent. The company has a drop ship business model, and so we drop ship it to all your customers, no matter where they live, and we send you twenty five percent, right? And and so now and. Your upline will make 10% and then 5% and 5%. And the reason we do it, the opposite is true. If you have people in your team and you help them retail, you know, in most companies, it's not a, it's not an incentive to get, you know, we always do want to, we want to do opportunity calls and conference calls to recruit people, but we don't, don't have a lot of retail uh, or incentive to get on a retail. Well, I do now, or you do, because if you go out here and help your person, you maybe you do a retail conference call or webinar and they sell a few hundred bucks of products, you're going to make 10%. So it's 25, 10, five and five, four levels deep for a total of 45%. Now I can tell you this, I'm sure it's out there somewhere or maybe in a direct sales model, but in the network marketing model, I've not seen a 45% four level retail bonus. So that was one of them. Another thing we did different is that uh, we, our first order bonus or, our, or what we call a personal sales bonus, some companies call it a fast start bonus, a personal sales bonus, if you sponsor me, you can make up to 25%. And that's kind of normal in the industry. You know, and most people pay between 15 or 10 or 15 and 20, 25 or so that you pay every time or, or when I sign up, right? Yeah. And so but the thing we do different, guys, we want to create residual income. 
is that this is about residual. So if you sponsor me, most companies that I'm aware of, almost all companies, you make that fast start or that re uh, personal sales bonus, you make it in the first month only or the initial order only. Then they start sliding up the comp plan, putting BV in the, in the binary on that second month. No, we don't do that. Every single month that I place an order, if I'm sponsored by you or a customer, the one, you're going to get a, a personal sales bonus every single month, not just first order, right? And guess what? Right. By the way, every single month and the and the bonus and the BV to the binary, right? So a lot of these companies, you if you sell something, you sell me a pack of product, then the personal sales bonus fast starts get paid, and but none of that money goes into the binary to the next month. No, that money goes into the binary and you get paid. And next month, if I order again, six months now, I order again on a personal sales bonus. So this starts creating your residual income. You know, some people say, well, I sponsored three people. I'm not making any money. Well, here, every single month, you're getting a check for three people that you sponsored, whether you build the team or not. So those are a couple small bonuses that really affect uh, the people that say, look, I just want to make a few hundred bucks to make a car payment. I want to make a hundred bucks here at 300, 500. So, and of course, we have our, our, our team commissions that we do. We do a, 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 a binary uh, dual team concept. Uh, we start off at 10% just as a brand new distributor, uh, and you can go all the way up to 20%. So those big hungry networkers, I want to make the big money. You know, guys, I've never worked in a program. We've made millions of dollars, but I've never worked in a program. Uh, the biggest one we've ever worked in was 12% on the lesser side. Well, here, you can make up to 20%. Now, the bigger bonus that I, ever, I actually love is our matching bonus, and that is a what we call a mentoring bonus. If you mentor people, you help your team and help them make money, you're going to make more money, and it's a 50%. You can make it match if you sponsor me and say I make a hundred thousand a month. If you're at that, you start off at that five percent, go up to fifty percent. What if you're at that fifty percent? And I made a hundred thousand dollars this month on my team. Then you would make fifty percent of that, right? So, so that was a big one. So we we had, and so that one's. And these are bonuses that that other companies have. These two in particular, uh, but we kind of both beefed them up. A lot of companies are at the eight, nine, ten, twelve percent, uh, and there are some that go up to twenty percent in the binaries. But that's uh, so we have a big a big uh, team commission for those networkers that really want to run, and those that go out here and do their own personal sponsoring up to fifty percent. But here's a couple. I'll finish off with this. That's really unique, and I want to just take a minute. Hopefully, I don't get too long here. I want to take a minute and, and share with you how these come about because those networkers out there some of you will really appreciate what sure. i'm going to say now okay and that is uh we have some leadership bonuses we have a car bonus here and you say well everybody's got a car bonus right yeah most not everybody does and i'd say about 60 percent of the companies have a car bonus right so of the 60 percent most of these companies you got to get halfway up the comp plan or you know you know at least a good third of the comp plan before you can start getting those and and usually it's four or five hundred dollars a month or whatever right uh sometimes you have to have the car to actually get the money and so what we did is we, we sat down and, and this is exactly what happened guys i want to tell you some truism here so we sat down looking at this and at the table and i'm like okay what was important to me 29 years ago when i was in the shoes and probably possibly some of the people listening here today what was important to me way back then when I was part-time? Forget being a leader, because things change and you forget from whence you come, right? So I think what was important to me, and I can tell you this, guys, when when I started network marketing years ago, you know, I was building the business, and back then we didn't have cell phones to pick up people and call. We had cell phones, but you couldn't afford to use them. Uh, even long distance, regular landline, long distance, 28 to 32 cent a minute, you couldn't afford to build the business on the phone, so you had to go drive. So I would drive, and I, I remember this just like it was yesterday. Every single Thursday night, I would drive from my home in Columbia, South Carolina, to Spartanburg, uh, South Carolina, which is about a two-hour drive. I'd share the plan with this guy, and I remember his name today. His name was Chad Bowers. He worked at Circuit City, and I'd go up there and I would step in his living room. He'd have between eight and 30 people every Wednesday night. I'm sorry, Thursday night. And I would drive up two hours, share the plan, drive back home. And I did this every single week. And, and, and so my point is back then an extra hundred bucks a month, just to put a tank of gas or two in my car would have been a big deal. Right. And so versus a car program that you got to go while you're at the ladder here before you start getting in our car program starts at a hundred bucks right so right. if you say look man I, i'm out here trying to build the business and i need an uber or i need whatever i want and you can it starts at a hundred bucks now you can use it in any way you want right if you don't use it on car whatever it's up to you but we started at a very small level because meaning that we know as you start off part-time you know, a little extra hundred bucks here, a hundred bucks there can be important. So that's kind of how that bonus came around versus saying, wait, we got to get way up here. No, even part time, you can start participating to get a hundred bucks and it goes to 250 all the way up to 1200. But then we're sitting there thinking, OK, what else happened? What back, back 29 years ago? 
from the part-time guy working a full-time job for someone else, what would have been important to me to help move my business? And so what happened back then, I'm thinking, okay, what would have been important? What if I could have had a little help with some expenses, right? So we have a travel and expense accounts bonus guy. And because back then, I'm that trip up there every Tuesday night, I did a hotel, a, a hotel meeting at the Ramada Inn, Broad River Road. Columbia, South Carolina. And you know how those go back then. And again, I know different people build their business different ways today, but I'm doing this meeting every Thursday night, uh, every Tuesday night. And guess what happened? The meeting rooms in my name, if it come up short, we'd charge people $5 at the door. But if it come up short, who had to pay the bill? Me, right? Or when we got through at the meeting on, went, on Thursday night, we'd go across the street at Applebee's and have a meal, right? With, yeah. You know how that works for all the downline, right? And you know what happens? If you're the upline or if you have guests there, they're looking to you at the end of the night and expect you to pay their 20, 30, 50 bucks for their meal, right? So way back then, I'm like, man, back then, if I could have got a couple hundred dollars extra a month to pay some expenses to help me build my business, that would have been a big deal. So we start this. Even part-time, guy, most people will be part-time, and we start dishing out to you every month a $250 expense check, travel expense. If you want to get an airline ticket, if you want to rent a car, if you want to rent a motel room, whatever you may want to do with it, right? And it goes all the way up to $10,000 as you rank up and go up. And I can tell you, guy, I've built this business all across the world. I've spent months in Asia. In Europe, I've spent weeks building four, five, six different countries in in Africa and all down through Latin America, South America, and no one has ever paid my expenses. And I can tell you, I've been at the top of these companies, and uh, you know, you get an extra five or ten thousand dollars a month, three thousand a month, thousand dollars a month just to pay expenses. You can go out here and build a heck of a business. Now, by the way, I had. You know, it's funny how people think. I had a guy tell me not long ago, "Well, you don't understand, Brad. I don't build my business that way. I build online." I'm like, "Well, what's your point, right? I mean." If I give you a thousand bucks extra, you do have electric bills, right? You do have cable bills. You do have phone bills. You do have computer. Maybe you want a new computer this year. Maybe you want a new uh, cell phone. You know, maybe you want to run Facebook or whatever you're doing. Hey, look, pay the money enough to know what to do with it, right? So it doesn't matter how you. Business. I gave some examples of what was important, but what was was years ago, money for gas a little extra money for expenses. Look, I know what you're going through. I know that you're going to have some some expense uh, issues, right? And so, you know, so I'll mention to you that we have this. I don't know of any company I've never seen in my 29, almost 30 years that have all three of these bonuses in the same company. I know some people have car, some people have travel, some people have car and travel. Very few people have a travel or expense account. But then we put in an insurance bonus, an cool. insurance wow. An insurance bonus. Now, why this was important, I can tell you that this all came from experience. When I left network marketing 29 years ago to go full time, I was working with a Fortune 200 company in the trucking industry. I was working in sales and management, and so I had, you know, my my salary, and I had my health insurance and my dental insurance. And when it came time, guy, to go full time, I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't quit my job and go full time in the network marketing. I can tell you why I didn't. Because I was afraid, what if something happens and I didn't have insurance? What if something happens? And, you know, so I can, true story. Right before I went to go full time, two months, July the 15th, 29 years ago, I went full time. And the, two months before, I called my dentist up and I said, I booked an appointment. I went in and I made three or four trips to the dentist. I, anything I needed to get fixed, I had him do, right? I was in the dentist chair because he said, why are you doing all this now? I said, because I'm getting ready to quit. And once I lose my job, if something happens, I want everything done. So if something happens, right? And so we know that insurance is near and dear to everybody's heart, right? And so, so what we've done right around the time when you start going full time in our company, uh, insurance bonus kicks in, okay, and it starts at two fifty, and then it goes all the way up. Uh, it starts at, uh, uh, at three fifty. It goes all the way up to uh, twelve hundred bucks a month, because we know the average family of four can get good insurance for about eight fifty a month, right? But we take it on up a little bit more, so you so you can get your dental insurance, you can get your health care, and all of that. So those are bonuses that we know that every lady out here top listening to this this webinar, every man that has children out here, they. Those things are going to be important. I want to be able to build the business without limitations. You know, I want to be able to, if I need to go get a hotel, if I want to go do a trade show, if I want to do any of these things, I want to be able to do that, right? And I want to be able to take care of my family. And, the, and I don't ever want anybody to not go full time just because they don't have health insurance. And so we put this thing together thinking about uh, uh, an every man and every woman's company. So if you want to make a little money, if you want to make, if you want to go full time and make big money, because, you know, a lot of times, guy, you know, if you'd have told me 
29 years ago, I'd go full time. I'd have laughed at you and told you you're crazy. I just thought I could make an extra thousand bucks a month. And most of us start that way. Most of us start right. off. If I can pay five hundred thousand dollars a month, that'd be great. But boy, we get the fire, we get the passion, we start changing lives, we start getting this experience, and when before long, we start like, man, maybe I do want to go full time. So no matter if you just want to make a little bit or a lot, uh, we've got you covered. And so that's a little bit about uh, some of the things that we've done differently. That uh, some of these I don't not, again, I'm not aware of any company in the network marketing space that has a car and transportation, certainly not the way we do ours, a travel and expense account and a healthcare uh, insurance type bonus all in one. Um, it's amazing. I'll finish, let me just say this one little thing. I know sure. we, but uh, here's the thing, you know, we network marketing, we, we somewhat compete against corporate America, right? And yet, uh, you know, if you worked a corporate job in the capacity that you do as a leader in network marketing, you know, you would have a company car and you would have an expense account and you would have health insurance, right? I just think it's time for set for network marketing companies to step up and give us those things that we would be getting for doing the exact same work somewhere else, right? And so uh, we can't sit here and, and put down corporate America, which we you know we, we don't, we, we love people. If you wanna work those jobs, whatever, but you can't expect people to you know come over here and do the same, sometimes even more work, but not give them a pay. I just, we step up and uh, network marketing as if they were working because again you go over here in corporate america you get these things right well here's Sealy, you're going to get those things as well so anyway hopefully that helps hope that gives you some wow. insight uh of wow. why we put together the comp plan and some of the non-negotiables that were important to us to what makes Sealy a lot different and i love all these companies out there i'm not trying to don't get me wrong i'm not putting down any companies but there are things that make us different it's well thought out uh, from wisdom from experience of building the business that's right. And that's why we are so happy to have have you as our leader, also as our the owner and founder. I mean, everything that you have spoken to, we have witnessed firsthand. Uh, the people that we have brought on as members have witnessed it. Our customers have witnessed it. Uh, it's a great value product. And the way that with the, because of the technology, you don't, you've been able to reduce that overhead. You've actually really been able to bring that value back to the customers, to the members, and to this industry, in my opinion. I just absolutely am so thankful for your time to, uh, to share all that with. I mean, what a wealth of information from this gentleman, Mr. Brad Hager. And we're just so thankful for you coming on and sharing all this. And I did have a couple more questions for you, so we're not going to get to today. So one more time, I'm going to ask you, can we do this again next Thursday? Uh, yeah, we can. I, look, I can't go anywhere anyway, right? We're all, uh, <laughs> right now, uh, uh, hopefully maybe That's they'll right. start us, getting us, letting us out of a uh, house arrest, but right now, Hey, you know what? Yeah. Count me in. I'll, uh, all right. uh what are we talk about? What's, what's, what are we going to talk good. about? Well, you know, you, you actually said something that kind of, kind of sparked this in me because you said that, you know, we're Elk and I, we don't have this issue because we're, we can sell. Well, I will tell you what, when I came into this industry, I couldn't sell. I was a fighter pilot in the United States air force. I, the, being a salesman, it was nothing I knew anything about. And by from your mentorship and your leadership, I have learned the art of helping to fulfill somebody else's needs, what somebody else is looking for. And here you have uh, five, six companies been up, raced up to the number one uh, income earner. That doesn't happen by accident. You build these teams of hundreds of thousands of people again and again, that doesn't happen by accident. So what I'd love to have you share with us the next Thursday, same time, 12 o'clock Pacific, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time, is a little bit on your techniques and how you do that. How do you make that happen? And now how you're allowing us the Sealy by Design members to be able to tap into all that knowledge and wisdom that allowed you to do this again and again. What kind of turnkey system have you put in place here for us and your leadership? You know, what the secrets behind your leadership to make all that happen. So does that sound good? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, you know, I like to say you build a business that's system dependent, not people dependent. But you do it on the backs of good leaders. So those are actually two great topics or, or, you know, a little bit about how we do it, a little bit about the system we use. And uh, I like to say that the platform we've put out there to build the business is, uh, you know, it's, it's in everybody's company. Everybody can do it. Uh, and but it's also kind of a, a no excuse. I mean, you, you won't have any That's excuse right. for not building. We're going to you know, I like to say you put the you put the cookies on the shelf so the so the kids can get them. Right. And so you got to, you know, so you put them on the lowest shelf. You don't hide them in the closet. So we got to make it where everybody can do it. If you're going to have a comp plan like I just described that is set up and all these non-negotiables are set up. So everybody from 
from level one to level 10, 12, whatever That's they right. want to do this, then you've got to have a system, tools, market materials, things like that in place. And you've got to be able to teach those tools thoroughly. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll teach that and, and uh, or talk about that a little bit. And so this will be great for people that maybe you're in even another company that want to learn some kind of tricks to the trade of how we've uh, been successful and helped to build all around the world. Um, we'll talk to maybe a guy a little bit about some online stuff, if you will. Uh, and then maybe uh, if I don't get too long, with, uh, sorry about that. I kind of get so excited the passion here and Aston, i love it you asked me some of these questions man i just can't give you a one minute answer i gotta i gotta do this thing man so uh, hopefully we didn't get too long but uh but uh, yeah so if we have time we'll maybe uh you know we'll talk about uh leadership which is important i mean leadership uh it, above all is uh so we can uh, maybe talk a little bit of system and maybe some techniques for kind of moving you know the name of the game in network marketing i'll finish with this the name of the game is get them in keep them in and move them along that's the game. Most people don't even think those thoughts, but the name is get them in the business, keep them in the business and move them along. And we'll address those three uh, and the ph philosophies and psychology behind it. We'll do that next week and awesome. uh, have a, just a great, uh, great conversation. So uh, awesome. appreciate you guys, you guys, you and Elk, I just got to do a shout out to you. You guys are, uh, are awesome. By the way, if anybody's uh, let's, uh, let's show some love, go down that bottom down there, put some heart likes. No, don't put likes, get those hearts going and let's <laughs> appreciate guy and Elk. If you got any value from this call today, you know, go down there and fire up about 100, 200 uh, hearts down there. Uh, and it's been particular for Guy and Elka. They're doing an amazing job, not just in our company, but they're, they're taking this on and moving the whole industry with what they're doing with lives like this, some of the things they're doing. And, uh, you know, they're just doing an amazing job. So go down there and just, you know, put in 100, 100 good uh, hearts down there real quick. And uh, if you want any more information about Sealy, again, go down there and you can uh, tell Guy or private message Guy. And I know he's got his website there. If you want to buy the product, you want to get involved uh, or send a direct message to them. But uh, I can't say enough about you guys. And uh, I appreciate uh, this has been fun and I uh, appreciate you guys being part of our team. But I appreciate what you're doing, not just for Sealy, but for the entire uh, uh space of network marketing and for personal growth and so uh i know you're best-selling arthur and and uh, it shows when you're out here building your business just changing a lot of life so uh well, that's thank all you. and i hope you stay safe and everybody stay safe and uh, uh we'll see you next thursday then that sounds great and thank you again brad and